Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and great people. Today, I am joined by a lovely lady, um, Yana Gu, who is a published author as well as working with Toastmasters, which we're going to share today. Welcome, Yana. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to see you. Oh, always wonderful. You're a wonderful host. Yeah, well, thank you. So tell me that in addition to being a published author, which you wrote that amazing book, which I've read twice, Aww. Um, which I share all the time, that you're such an inspiration for people your age of um, what, what you came from, what has inspired, and who you are today. And in addition, I was so wonderfully surprised that you also have this wonderful contribution with Toastmasters. So first, can you tell me again about your wonderful book? Oh, well, there's my favorite quote is, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. My book details how I was able to overcome OCD depression to find happiness. It took me years and it really began with me loving myself, accepting myself for who I am, not demanding perfectionism and by repeating off positive affirmations in my head, I was able to let go of the limiting self-beliefs that have plagued me for so long. Right. And and to the youth of today, the people of your age, I mean, you've, you've strived in so many amazing areas of your life. What do you think is the most valuable thing to tell my viewers in terms of today to, to, that are experiencing bullying, experiencing in terms of crisis in their past or having a hard time finding themselves. What do you think is the most important? To realize self-worth and to forgive because it really helps you when you forgive. You forgive for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're no longer carrying that burden around. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And, and you also have other things that you think about. What are some other positive affirmations that you think about? Um, I know you're... One of my favorite positive affirmations, I say it all the time at work, mm -hmm. as things are always working out for me. And it really helps me, especially when I'm on the phone, to repeat a positive affirmation like that. Or before I make a call to a client, I'm thinking, everyone is kind. And I pretend I'm talking with my best friend when I'm talking to a client, because that really helps me relax. It's all also, about relaxing. Yeah, that's extremely <laughs> valuable, because I'm sure, uh, and I know when I've heard you on the phone and when I've seen you, when you greet people, you absolutely walk the walk. And talk the talk, you do. Well, oh, thank you. In addition to keeping so busy and, and 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 being so inspirational, you also work with Toastmasters, which I had this wonderful opportunity to actually go to one of your meetings, and I was quite impressed. Oh, yes. Well, I joined Toastmasters in December of 2014, because mm -hmm. I knew I'd have to do a lot of public speaking to promote my book. Right. I really enjoy Toastmasters because it really helped me get outside of my comfort zone, I was terrified of public speaking. Actually, public speaking is the number one most common fear. 75% of the population is terrified of public speaking. Right. And one of the best public speakers of all time, Winston Churchill, actually fainted during his first speech. Really? So it just goes to show that everyone's terrified of it. It's How nothing to be ashamed of. Yes. Can, can you explain to my viewers what Toastmasters is? Toastmasters is a group that helps people better their public speaking and leadership skills. Mm -hmm. We have one in Carmel, which I'm a part of. We mm -hmm. meet first and third Wednesday of every month mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. on One Fair Street. And it and it is, uh, I when I went there, I felt extremely comfortable. It was unassuming and uh, not intimidating. And actually, to this day, from there, one of uh, you had shared in terms of uh, expounding my vocabulary. So I have my little th thesaurus app. So, you yeah. know, words aren't repetitious, but so many different arenas it's so valuable to to be uh, practicing about um, uh, giving speeches. And what are some of the kind of techniques that you use with Toastmasters? Well, Toastmasters, I definitely practice beforehand for a speech. I find the more practice you do beforehand, the better your speech is. And also, just I always say repeat positive affirmations. Before, it's, it's normal to feel nervous before a speech, but when you repeat positive affirmations, such as everyone is kind, everyone is kind, people are enjoying my speech, then you yourself feel more relaxed. And when you're up there, 
you just have to have a positive mantra in your head. Mm-hmm. Everyone is kind, and mm-hmm. that helps you become more relaxed. Mm-hmm. And you certainly do. And I know when you started, there's different activities. So what are some of the activities of Toastmasters? You have different types of speeches? Yes. In addition to speeches, you there's shorter segments. For example, invocation is you start with a brief, inspiring one to two minute mini speech about something inspiring that happened to you. That's how the meeting starts. Mm-hmm. The Toastmasters acts as master of ceremonies. He or she would guide the meeting, lead the meeting. The joke master is makes a joke to lighten up the mood, and the evaluators evaluate the speeches. So everyone has an important part to pay, play in Toastmasters. They do, and yes. contributory. Oh, and absolutely. All supportive. I felt uh, tremendous support and encouragement. Which oh yes, wonderful. That's what I love about my Toastmasters group. You're, it's a lot. It's okay to make mistakes. I remember my fifth Toastmasters speech. I completely forgot everything I was supposed <laughs> to say, and I stood up there I for a whole minute, <laughs> well, not knowing what to say. And then I was eventually able to pick myself back up. But no one in Toastmaster criticized me. They were like, "I think it's great that you actually got back up and mm-hmm. started pick back up." So I think Toastmasters is a wonderful environment where mistakes are allowed to be made, mm-hmm. and that really helps. Mm-hmm. And it also helps with creativity, right? Yes. It does. And it comes around in so many arenas. I remember a couple of weeks ago, I was amidst, amongst a, a very large group of people, and out of nowhere, they said, well, who are you? And all of a sudden, I was on the spot. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have some kind of practice, even with our organization master networks in terms of the soundbite that we give at each meeting, it helps us to practice. Oh, over and over and learn. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. I think it's yeah. very important. Another tip that really has helped me with public speaking is knowing that no one really knows what anyone is thinking. Because I, I used to spend so much of the time worrying about what other people thought of me. But then I realized that no one knows what anyone is thinking. So there's really no need to worry because we'll never know. And I was reading this book. This, this lady, she, she gave a public speech to a whole room of people, mm-hmm. and everyone was smiling, nodding their heads. But she noticed one woman in the first row who was frowning, who was rolling her eyes, and he kept focusing on that one woman. At the very end, everyone gave her a standing ovation, but that one woman didn't clap at all. And when she was backstage, mm-hmm. everyone was saying, great job. Mm-hmm. And then she sees the woman walk towards her. Mm-hmm. Her heart stopped, but the woman gave her a hug and said, I loved your speech. So it just goes to show that we really don't know what anyone is thinking. Interesting. Yes. Very interesting. I always remember that. Yeah, that's that's fascinating. And do you have a favorite book? Do I have a favorite book? Right now, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay is the book that helped me mm-hmm. change my life. It did. Yes. And the it's basic phenomenal. idea is the same in terms of You Can Heal Your Life by positive affirmations. And yes. Just yes. So in the day that everything goes my way. Yes. Law of attraction. I'm a firm believer in law of attraction that we create our own realities by Mm -hmm. the thoughts and feelings. Which is um, always just to keep them positive, right? Oh, absolutely. Keep them positive. Yeah. I mean, in today's climate and everything that's going on, we have so much going on simultaneously in all different arenas. Mm -hmm. It can be many times uh, overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I agree that it's very important to start the day saying, gratitude and and positive affirmations as much as possible absolutely and that starts your day off right and keeps on yeah. momentum keeps on going no it does absolutely. absolutely so how does yana relax i like to spin you do yes yes spinning releases endorphins uh-huh. and so i have a little bike at home mm-hmm. that i spin you spin yes and and i've done that I, i'm a runner and oh. and i've done that and i also do, like to do just uh stretches and calisthenics throughout the day and uh i tried spinning oh you have I did you like it i i thought it was one of the most difficult things i've ever done in my life you know what's momentum. really funny i i, I tried running i thought that was one of the most <laughs> difficult things as well it was i could i can't run right yeah. And, and what do they say? There's there's 25 flavors of ice cream in mm-hmm. Baskin Oh, yes. You so, got to pick the one you like. <laughs> but uh, I did find spinning was very, very difficult to maintain that momentum and the acceleration. And we had a program in the back with different uh, places and up and down hills. And I found it was, it was very difficult. I, I go at a moderate pace. I don't go uphill. Yeah. But I find I'm able to sustain momentum longer when I go at a moderate pace. Right. So, so is there another book? And Yana's future? Another book in Yana's future. I enjoy, really enjoy writing. 
I write. I'm part of the Mayopac Writers Group. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy sharing what I've written. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Never know. Never know, because you you do have a gift. You you have a tremendous gift. I mean, uh, every time you speak, every time you share, you're an inspiration. Oh, thank you, to all people. Uh, thank range. you, and, and so are you. Yeah. You really are too. Yeah, well, We've... you know, we we keep trying. We're trying to be as positive as we possibly can. Yes. So I, we have two minutes to just um, sum up uh, with my viewers. Is there anything last you can share in terms of presently in in our world or or anything? I just the power of letting go and accepting yourself for who you are and not demanding perfectionism. And just by realizing that it's okay to make mistakes, that things will get better, and to always keep moving forward. Never give up. Never give up. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Yana, thank for you so being much here. For having you me. are always such an inspiration. You continue just being you to be such an inspir inspiration to everyone you meet. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Linda. Mm -hmm. Remember, when you eat well and feel great, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, balance and moderation is key. I remember, like Yana says, greet the day being positive with positive affirmations and thinking great things. Thank you so much to my lovely crew. Have a good night.